Let's talk about why getting lost is probably the best thing that could ever happen to you. I was talking about getting lost. I truly was lost. I was. How the fuck? So here's the thing about getting lost and here's the thing about why I'm, I'm speaking about this. So this year I've taken on a bunch of new adventures. Some of them were like on purpose, I meant to do them. Some of them, were, most of them were actually just purely accidental. And, um, and it all started with me getting lost. Uh, I was in Berman Bush, you know, I'm doing these walk arounds and I'm trying to get content um, with no real plan of what to do with it. So I'm recording myself, I've got my, my phone with me and I'm walking about and recording myself. And, and in this one of the walks, I go to, to Berman Bush, which is like a, a nature conservation area um, near to where I stay. And they actually, like, there's this whole story about somebody being killed there a few years ago when we had just moved to Durban. And so it was kind of scary going there. Um, yeah, my first few walks around there was always like, am I going to get killed? And I, and I, I kind of didn't really take any gear with me or cameras. I mean, I still don't, I just take my phone and a selfie stick now, but yeah, and, and when I first got started there, like, you know, the idea of having something of value would be that the creatures in the forest would attack me and, you know, you know take it back to, to their leaders. <laughs> but in this journey of walking about and discovering a Berman Bush, there was a viewing deck and I was trying to get to this viewing deck. Like it was on the sort of information map that there's a viewing deck and I wanted to see where is this viewing deck now. I made a few attempts and in each of the attempts I never made it there. One of the attempts I genuinely got lost. This is the area I came down. There's a tree just fallen over. Oh man, I did not go far. There it is. I was talking about getting lost. I truly was lost. I was. But that getting lost in that moment fueled my desire even more to find this elusive viewing deck. And it just stirred up something inside me. And I, I don't know what that was. And I, I still can't quite put my finger on it. But you know, the adventure that I was out there adventuring, that I was getting like dirty and like, oh, the spider webs and... I think I need a shower. There's a lot of um, spider webs, lots of spider webs. It's just the bugs and everything, like it was worth it. It was worth sort of stomping through mud at some point, so, you know, and it's, it was worth the dust and the heat and the exhaustion of sort of walking up because in the beginning it was quite tough actually. Realized I'd done way too much couch sitting and <laughs> to be careful I said that and just get out there. And so the more I got out there, the more I got lost, the more I started to find myself. And that was the thing I never ever intended. I didn't know that I needed to find myself. But I did. It took getting lost for me to find myself. If, you've, if you're feeling stuck or, or like you're just trudging along day by day, try something. Try and get out and get lost. Try and do something that is uncomfortable, that makes you sweaty, that makes you dirty. It just gets you in a completely different place from where you are right now. If you were like me and a couch sitter for years, um, Take on that new adventure, go for a walk. Go for a walk in the park, go for a walk around your block. I've done this, this oh, last few months of this year, that's a lot of what I've been doing, It's just going for walks, taking my phone, taking a camera with me. You know, even though I think like the robbers are gonna come, a car's gonna pull up next door to me and mug me and thugs are gonna beat me up and try and take my very cheap camera and things like that and I still I do it still I take the things with me still I go for the walk still I go for the runs and that's been exciting because I've matured 
Through this adventure of finding myself inadvertently, I've, I've grown. So not only have I found myself, but I've also grown in who I am, doing more adventurous things. I'm just about to enter the Neisner Forest Marathon. I've never done a marathon. I have done half marathons and I've done that, but that was 10 years ago. And six years ago, I couldn't run. I couldn't walk with my knees busted out. So for me to be here today, about to hit enter on what is probably the biggest challenge I've set myself. And it's just April. I mean, it's only April and I'm already setting these humongous goals to train for a marathon in 65 days. Well, 64 days today, I've got to train, which is not a lot of time. So, <laughs> you know, I've generally take three months to train for half marathon so that I can do it in a decent time. And now to train for a marathon, man, <laughs> it just blows my mind. And yes, I'm scared. I've got a lot of doubt about, actually, can I do it? I mean, I, I emotionally and spiritually feel like I can. Like I know I can. But the physical, <laughs> can my body actually physically do it? I don't know. I did a challenge a little bit earlier this year. Uh, I don't know if you've seen that video or not, but it is um, turning mountains into molehills. And I actually, I ran up Table Mountain. Like, that's right, from getting lost in Berman Bush to running up Table Mountain, that journey, just a few weeks. Like, there's something happened in my head, a doorway, a portal to another world opened up and I actually thought I could do it. Like I'm thinking now, I can do a marathon. So the fact that I am able to do the things or have been able to do the things has blown my mind and it's really just, uh, I don't know, it's amazing. It feels really good. And it all started with getting lost. All right, so thanks so much for listening to this story, for sharing in my adventure, and I hope that it inspires you in some way to start your adventure and to, and to start getting lost, to get off the couch, to get out of your routine, and, and to go out and do something that you've, you've always thought you'd never could. And my name's Richard, and this has been Richard Talks.